The Dow Jones Industrial Average has fallen below 7,000 for the first time in more than 11 years. Battered by the recession and worries about financial companies, the market tumbled after insurer AIG posted a staggering quarterly loss and the government agreed to inject another $30 billion into the company. I think that the headline event was uh, AIG's reporting of a $61.7 billion loss and the need for additional capital. Uh, in addition to that, we saw a venerable bank, HSBC, say that it too needs to raise capital. The Dow Jones Industrial Average hemorrhaged 300 points and the session at 6,763. Broader stock indicators also declined. The Standard & Poor's 500 index fell 34 points to 701, and the Nasdaq was down 55 points to 1,323. As far as stocks have fallen, analysts say more volatility is likely and the bottom has yet to be reached. Our technicians, uh, our chart readers in a sense, are the ones who are saying that we believe that the market will probably bottom out between 625 and 675 on the S&P 500. So basically anywhere from uh, 25 points to 75 points more to go to the downside. The Dow last closed below the 7,000 level on May 1, 1997, and the recent descent has been swift. It's taken only 14 sessions for the average to go from above 8,000 to below 7,000. So far this year, the Dow is down 22.5%. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.